newspaper and told her that uh, you would donate a mower to him. Oh! So you just call a newspaper and donate my stuff to people for free? Well, yeah, she needs help. She needs a mower, so I figured you would want to do that. Oh, so it'll be alright. Flipper! 90 bucks for a push. Come on, bro. You got that laying around. Riding mower or push mower? It don't matter. She's got a pretty small yard. Well, you know what? Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Maybe I should donate a mower to this woman, especially if she's on hard times. Maybe I should help this lady out. Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll give you some publicity, too, for the shop. All right, Slippers. I'll do it. I'll donate a mower to this lady. All right. Well, uh, here's the address for you guys so we can get over there. Okay, Slippers. Really appreciate that. All right, Slippers, now get out of here. I got work to do and quit giving away my stuff. All right, Jerry. I'm sorry. Where are we going, Paul? Uh, Slippers read in the newspaper that there's some woman down on her luck, so he donated our time and money to deliver this push mower to this lady so she can cut her grass. No. Oh. Oh, okay, all right. Well, whatever. I just figured I'd ask. You told me to get the truck. I don't know where we're going. So we're going to go do a nice deed for this person. We're going to oh, give wow. her a lawnmower. Oh, okay. Never done one of them before, so this should be something new. Who is that after? What are they looking at? They better not be coming around here causing trouble. That's supposed to be the house right there. This lady's gonna be so surprised and shocked and overjoyed when she sees what we got for her. Oh yeah, yeah, she's gonna be happy. She's You'll gonna be, be happy. It's gonna be great, Paul. It's gonna be great. What, what, what in the world is going on out there? complaining. It ain't cutting right. It ain't cutting right. He goes, puts new blades on, and look, 
It still ain't cutting right, and I put new blades on. My deck needs to be level. No, your deck don't need to be level. You done hit something. See? See how much that's off? Those are supposed to line up perfect. Sometimes you'll bend the deck shell when you hit something. And then you're going to see that in the grass. So we got to beat the deck straight. And here are some of the tools that I use to make that repair. Sludge hammer, little baby sludge hammer, big bar, a couple blocks of wood. The blocks of wood are to put under the deck so you keep the pulleys and stuff off the ground so you don't smash them when you're trying to smash the deck back. Okay, first thing we're going to do is try to figure out which one is bent. Maybe they're both bent. I think this one's bent. But to check to show this one's not bent, you get Mr. Paint Pen out. I'm going to make a mark over here. And we're going to spin the blade. And it's pretty close to that mark. It's off a little bit. That ain't going to match. So this is the one that's bent. And it appears to be bent down. So, first thing I'm going to do is flip the deck back over and I'm going to bang on those ears from the opposite side to see if we can bring it back in the, in the kilter. Alright, I got the deck up on these blocks so it's nice and level and sturdy and then I had to take the pulley off so I can get to this. And this is where I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit on these ears with this big bar and this hammer. And we're going to see what's going to happen. Maybe I'll even hit right here. You ain't going to hurt it. You already done did that. You already hurt it. Alright. Well, I got to put the pulley back on. Alright, it's still off. Alright. I'm going to have to take the spindle off and beat the deck itself. So now I gotta take the spindle all the way off. I don't like having to take this spindle off because these bolts are probably rusted in there and they're probably just gonna snap off. And then you either gotta drill them out or put a new spindle on. I don't hit it with lubricant. Maybe I'll get lucky. So far so good. My luck, probably three out of the four will Come out and the last one will snap. Oh man, I got lucky. So if you get lucky like I got lucky when you go to put those bolts back in, put some never sleeves on them. Alright, I'm gonna take this off now. Alright, I got the spindle off. So now I'm gonna whack right here and here. And then I may have to bend these back. So, because that, that spindle is like this. So, that means it pulls these down and raise them up. Or vice versa. We're going to find out. I got to put spindle back on. Now, this isn't an easy process. You got to beat on these decks and you got to beat it back and forth and back and forth. And as you can see, it's still off. I'm going to try whacking these now, right here. I got to support it on the blocks again. Let's see if that helped. Not really. Alright, I'm going to take this spindle back off and I'm going to really beat it from the other side. I'm going to beat this thing like it owes me money. This one's me and a booger. I want to try beating it over here now, outside of the, where the spindle mounts. The 
see if that helped. Well, it looks like it's getting a little closer. Now I'm going to try to do that on the, on the upside, on the top side. Alright, now this side was a little bit off here. I'm going to try whacking this down now. Right in this area. This feels like it's got a big bump right here anyway. my supports. I just feel like a big hump right here. Guess what? Wasn't using big enough hammer. Woo! 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 Looky there! Perfect! Sometimes it's just a matter of using a bigger hammer. Like I said, you already done bent it. You ain't gonna hurt it by beating on it some more. And there's your dinner.